Hey guys, Ross here, and I just wanted to do a little comparison of agency analytics go high level integration with Consolidata's go high level integration. And I'm going to show you how much superior Consolidata's integration is to what they have. Now, there is one feature, uh, maybe two, that I would say I, I like of theirs, but we'll have it soon. And that is just this list chart where you can see the actual names of the people, which we'll have that literally by the end of the month. But here's the problem that I found with this dashboard by looking at it. A, it is not a customizable dashboard in the same way of what we have. Uh, you can't create custom metrics. You can't blend all of this different data together. You got what you got here. Um, or unless there is something that I'm missing, I don't quite understand why people would need, for instance, to see these conversations. Uh, I could understand maybe wanting to see how many conversations to a, a degree, but what does this do for you? Like that your chat couldn't do for you just by looking at your chat. See, here's where people miss the mark. The point of a dashboard is to be able to look at your a sheet and see what you can do to fix problems, solve problems. And, and it's supposed to tell the story of your business. What story does this tell? Now this page here, I get it. It's it, great and dandy. It's a different way to view the data that you pretty much already can see in Go High Level. See, that's what I don't like about this, that all of this data, all the way down to the Windows 95 looking funnel can be seen in Go High Level. What I want to see and what makes it worth to me having it in a dashboard is when you can start customizing things, getting conversion rates, average sale. So let me just show you. I'm going to walk through our integration just so you can see the kind of data that you can pull. You can pull a count of appointments and you can filter it by status, by tags, by sources. So I could literally go and say, I want to see all the leads that came from Facebook with this tag. Boom. I can go and do the same thing with contacts. I can say, I want to see all the contacts from this status, from this source with this tag. I can sum up the values of specific deals. I can pull in account of appointments that have come in from specific sources, different tags, different calendars, all of these things that they just don't have. I can pull in custom field values. So I could pull in a custom field value. We could do sum of values. We could do a count, an average of the values, and we can display that in there. But now here's the next thing that I can do is I can merge that data. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go in here into my dashboards. And I think that I was on this here. I can merge that data with other um, data sources so easily. So let's say that I was wanting to take my deals one and divide it by ad spend to get a good cost per lead. I can take this calculator right here and I can go uh, spend and then I can go into my go high level account and we can grab um, leads one. And I can go spend divided by leads one. That's going to give me a cost per acquisition. I can go ahead and I save that. And now let's just go ahead and make this just a little taller. We're going to need it to be just a little taller for this. And now I can plop this in right here. CPA. Do a little this, do a little that. And boom. Now we just got a cost per acquisition if we wanted to. So you can see it's just a superior integration just all around. And, um, you know, I, I feel like they, they really missed the mark on it. Maybe they'll see this video and realize what they should have done. To me, it shows how little they actually know what their customer needs because their customer can get all of this inside of Go I Level. Now, on top of that, I could then take that dashboard. Let me just show you something here. I could then take that dashboard. I wouldn't even be surprised if they don't even have um, a high level account. And I can plop it in here. And let me show you 
how I can do that. I'm going to go into my Dash Hub. And in the Dash Hub, I take the script. I put this in the Java section, this in the CSS. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to add a dashboard to this demo. I think it was called demo. No, it's demo account, not demo snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here because there's one called demo snapshot. That's the one that we want. Boom. Here's the, uh, here's the page we just made. So you can see how easy it is to replace that. So anyways, that is my take on our high-level integration versus agency analytics. To me, stale data, you can't really customize it. They miss the mark.